after the catastrophe of the last episode, I went and got revenge on the magma cubes, and then I turned said revenge into some fire resistance potions. Then I found a soul sand valley, which was useful, but also kind of terrifying, and I did not stick around very long at all. Sadly, my tabby cat was walking around with me while I was building and accidentally drowned himself, so I decided to save his string and make a little memorial for him that's gonna go in my starter house, and we'll just remember Spike who never officially got his name. I really want to give you guys a tour of all the stuff that I built, but I also need to talk about the shader, cyanide shaders that I've got. Look at these colors! This is so pretty, and I'm using a, a texture pack as well, or a few texture packs, to really, like, spice up the colors and everything. It looks so much better than default Minecraft right now, and I am loving it. So anyway, um, as you can see here, I've built a few custom azalea trees. And I love walking under this tree in particular right here. There's a few that I've done on top of the uh, mysterious cave as well. I think it gives everything just like an extra pop of color. The area around the custom acacia trees I made was really dark, so I hung some lanterns, and I think it's really helping the area a lot. So I was sitting here. Admiring the Better Than Llamas mod, which makes my llamas look so dapper. And I had already finished a three-hour mining session and had fixed all of the problems for the last episode, so I was sitting there thinking, well, what should we do for this episode? And then it occurred to me, we need animal pens for these guys, so let's jump into it. So why don't we start by gathering some materials such as spruce and bamboo. The only thing more satisfying than breaking bamboo in this game is finally having bamboo planks. I also flattened out this plateau right here so that I could make room for the cow pen. I started with digging out this very oddly shaped... I don't know what kind of shape you could call this actually, but anyway, I filled it in with uh, cobblestone. And so I used for the pillars some dark oak plus spruce for kind of like the wall. And after that, I also went around with oak, some oak fences just to kind of outline it. After that, I decided to use bamboo for the roof. I needed an excuse to use bamboo, which is kind of why I used it right here. But I also use it because I just thought with us being in a savanna biome and because these are animal pens that it would give it kind of like a zoo look, you know what I mean? Kind of make this look like a zoo a little bit. And I thought that would be kind of fun to just kind of have like a, I don't know, some kind of exhibit for all of these animals that we're going to be repeatedly slaughtering throughout the entire series uh, for our own survival. I also want to point out that while I was building this roof, I kept running out of bamboo. And I didn't think it was possible for you to actually run out of bamboo in this game, but I somehow managed to do it. Bamboo planks are very expensive. Some dark oak fence gates. The most glorious decoration ever. A hanging sign. Then I moved the llamas in, which, you know, also allowed some of the sheep and cows to escape. And they were very, very true to their caravan, so moving them in here was, well, was really interesting, let's put it that way. And I finished off the build with a bunch of torch spam! Yay! Then I came over and I built the sheep pen pretty much in the same way that I had built the llama pen, just a slightly different shape. I need to emphasize, I love the bamboo blocks. What I don't love is how expensive they are. Here we go, sheepies, here we go. Here we go, sheepies, here we go. Go into your new house, here you go. All right, that's enough of that, come on guys. 
Nope, no cows escape. All right, here we go. Don't you guys want it? Come on. Come on, it's your new home. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Come on. Don't be shy about it. No, come on. Come on in. This is your new home. This is your new place to live. So, while I was waiting for the bamboo to grow, I decided I might as well move the cows in because I already had the walls built and it was escape-proof. I just didn't have a roof yet. So, the cows were really hard to move in here for some reason. I'm not sure why, but they just... They really put up a fight about going in this brand new pen that I built for them. So appreciative. I think the roof for the cow pen was actually the most difficult roof of the three buildings for me to do, just because the shape was so weird and it kind of didn't follow the rules that I had set for myself with the sheep pen and the llama pen. So, yeah, and then I also came over here and I was like, you know, I want it to be three levels instead of the two like I did with the sheep pen because I just thought that would look better. So I just played around tweaking this until I liked the way it looked. Because Minecraft 1.20 is still very new to basically everybody, I wanted to put in the process of making the hanging signs. I like the crafting recipe and I don't think it's labor intensive, but it's definitely interesting. What I will say about the hanging signs that is just absolutely wonderful, aside from the fact that it's great that we finally have them in the game, is you can do them in any of the wood colors. They look so nice. And in addition to that, there's also the fact that you use the chains so they can totally link up with chains. And that just opens up so many creative possibilities. I am going to have a blast with these as time goes on. And so in any case, I also went around and made kind of like directional things, which are really just for my own benefit. And it's really just to tell me where everything goes. Because um, I'm planning to keep this world for a very, very, very long time. This is intended to be a long-running series. So I'm going to need a lot of things in the future to tell me where things are. I don't know if I will actually have like a world download in the future. I'm kind of not, I'm very possessive of my Minecraft world, so I don't really like to do world downloads. But if I ever do do a world download in the future, this would also be helpful to anybody who's touring the world after they've downloaded it. By the way, I started playing Minecraft in 2012, and before we had lanterns in the game, these were our lanterns. This was how we made lanterns. When you record yourself chopping down a bunch of oak fences and then you speed it up, it sounds so nice. Something I've come to realize about myself as a Minecraft builder is I just, I have to make really unclean, messy paths. None of my paths can ever be like streamlined. They've always got to be blotchy like this. My goal for this big open space right here is to have a custom azalea tree that's going to be a little bit different than the others and a little bit grander than the others that you see behind me. And on top of that, I also want to try to get, like, a little carrot garden in here and maybe have, like, some bamboo sprouts as well. Something that'll just kind of make this look very nature-like and very pretty. And maybe expand the waterfall garden. I'm not really sure at this point if I want to, but we'll see. Now, I am definitely not the best at building custom trees, and it's actually my friend Pigcart, who I've collaborated with for quite a few years, who taught me how to make custom trees without actually making custom trees because what he does is he grows a regular tree and then he adjusts the tree like he adds different things to it kind of like what i'm doing here and he builds some really great stuff when he does that i think his way of doing it is way cooler than mine so you know i kind of learned this from him but one thing that i will say about myself is that i am very good at detailing and so I wanted to really take you guys through the process of how I detail things. Because I think 
it's ki it's kind of difficult for me sometimes to show you that, especially because it doesn't translate to YouTube very well, which is also why I put this in the uh, later half of this episode, because otherwise it would probably kill my audience retention, and I feel like if you're in the video still at this point, you're probably okay with watching something like this. So... That being said, this is generally how I do things, where I just go around and I add a block at a time, and I will take a step back, look at it. If I think it looks okay, I keep it there, and if I think it doesn't look okay, then I will remove it and put it in a different spot. And I was also getting stuck in my own building a lot, which is really hilarious, and that actually gave way to something that I do with this little stone border later on but this is what happens see like i'll be building that and i'll be like hey i need stone slabs over here to connect with the fact that there's this stone thing like why is this stone around this tree well maybe i need it to make it a little bit less just you know uniform and actually kind of rough it up a little bit and make it a little bit more interesting so that's how this ends up happening and it's purely spontaneous like spur of the moment like it's like improv with building in Minecraft, where it's like, hey, I think that would look good, let me try that, and let me put this block here, and then I'll put this one here. And, like I said, if I don't think it looks good, then I will move it. And at some point, I also end up with um, rooted dirt, and I'm putting the rooted dirt in here, and it just, it goes on and on. And then there's the, the carpet, and... Um, there's more and more tweaks that I do to the tree at one point, and... This is why I don't generally put these things in an episode for YouTube, because, I mean, how, uh, first of all, how would I tutorial this? How would I make something like that into a video? Because I'd be like, go, you see how I'm like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like, I would love to, for things that are artistic in this game to translate to YouTube in a way that is both entertaining and will not destroy my audience retention, but that's just not something that, um, can really happen. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not realistic. It's not a feasible thing to do. But in any case, I still wanted you guys to see, like, how do I do that? And this is literally how I built all those other trees there, although, you know, I didn't spend quite as much time on them as I did this one. Um, but that's generally the gist of it. Like, and then, like, peppering around the bamboo here. I was like, yeah, I think that looks good. And that was, that was like, yeah, I'll add in a few more. And then I, you know, peppered them around over here, too. Which, um, you know, the future's actually going to look really hilarious when you guys see what I did with the path uh, um, in the next episode. That, that'll be pretty amusing, I think, to you guys. So that's, um, yeah, so there's the rooted dirt right there. And... Yeah, I just, I like to build this way. I have a very fluid, go with the flow, let's see what happens kind of way about building. And I think it's fine. I, I don't think I need to build in any different kind of way or like change my strategy. I just don't think that it necessarily always works for YouTube. And maybe someday when I have a bigger audience it will. But for right now, it just kind of, yeah, it's just sort of something that I have to, um, be very selective about how I show it in my videos. All right, everybody, before we go, we need to talk about audience retention because that is extremely important for my channel and for YouTube channels in general. If your audience retention is not 85%, your channel does not do very well. And my channel is not growing because my audience retention is too low. That is why my episodes are getting a lot shorter, and that's why I'm being very selective about what I put in my episodes. That's why me mining up diamonds for three hours didn't make it in this episode. Why a lot of the details you see behind me did not make it in this episode. But don't worry, some of those things like the detailing and the exploring that I did to make progress in survival, those things will be in the next episode. So in any case, if you want to help out my channel, you can do that by leaving a like, commenting, subscribing, share my content on social media because that will help me out significantly. And it will really get my channel to grow. And just in general, you know, try to watch the whole video because that really, 
really helps me out a lot. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you guys next time.